if, if any of you guys can um, instant message me, I would love that as well. Uh, especially Mr. Hashim, I, I would love to talk with you one on one. Um, you know, yeah, so just jump in our show next time uh, when we're discussing this topic of Trinity and so on, and which will be relevant to the show. But um, yeah, but thanks for coming in. Right. Sure. Um, just want to remind everyone, okay. I'm sorry, we cannot take any further guests, um, but we have one guest already, so it has to be very quick. Fred, um, welcome to our show. You'll be our last guest. Um, any questions or comments on this topic or what you've heard so far? Fred. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, th I thought you were talking about the panelists. Um, no, I've just been following this, and and it's very interesting. Can you speak up a little bit or fix your audio? I'm very faint. Try again, admin. Try now. Okay. Can you hear me now? Is it better? Much better. Much better. Okay. I just had to be closer. I, w I only joined like 10, 15 minutes ago, and I only heard the last couple of minutes where the Christians were um, saying some things, trying to argue for their case. Um, the, the only thing I didn't hear is anybody first um, describe what it is when you're talking about create, how you do this, where do you see this, is, is putting two blocks of Lego together, is that a creation? Um, so, you know, the general questions I did not hear uh, being in, in any way addressed. It's always about, well, creation in Christianity is this and in, in Islam is this. So there's just a different kind of ideologies that are being, um, you know, thrown around. Sure. What's your perspective? My perspective is that I was not created or created depending on how you define create. If I take a piece of wood and I make a bench out of it, am I creating a bench or am I rearranging molecules? I was created, if you want to call it that, by my parents having sex with a sperm and an ovum, joining, merging, fusing. And this is creating a new personality, but it is still using pre-existing molecules and, and atoms and, and matter, which is just being rearranged. It is only the, the very specific rearrangement that then creates consciousness, which makes me into a human being with sentient um, abilities. Sure. Do you believe um, matter or whatever something consists of eventually has always been in existence? Absolutely, yes. Right. So you are just a transformation of that thing, right? Correct, yeah. Right. Well, so the thing that you. exists... Sorry, continue. Same as you. Right. So do you believe the thing that's existed always um, without a beginning, um, you know, eternal existence, had some inherent properties or attributes? I, I, I didn't say that something existed without a beginning or something. I, there, there is no way of knowing this, so there's no way of making a claim about this since we don't know this um what i'm trying to say is if something exists now there cannot be a time when i'm using time in a very crude sense uh, there was absolute nothingness do you agree no i don't because we don't know this so you you have a possibility where absolute nothingness could exist as a possibility I am not saying it can't. I'm not saying that it does. We, I'm saying we cannot have an opinion on this because we do not have the information. Um, I think we can because there's only two logical explanations. If something exists now, either something existed always or something didn't exist at all. There's nothing, absolute nothingness. Well, do you have any are, other options? Are, yeah, of course. Such as? I mean, you, you, can, you can have a time loop. Explain that. Well, you can have a point in time where something went into a time loop and um, everything just came into existence from out of that time loop. So, yes, the where, mother did create herself. Where did that mechanism come from? I don't know. I, don't, yeah, I didn't say I have an explanation for this. I'm just looking at... But you're certain, it wasn't, you're certain it wasn't a creator, though, correct? I don't know if it was a creator. Give me the, okay, the, but when you the, say, the criteria. Give me okay, the when you say sperm... The, uh, okay, when you say you came from sperm, you came from life. So that's life well, coming from, from sperm and an ovum from a living creation. being from your father who was alive. Correct. So that's life coming from life. If you trace that all the way back to one cell, you get one cell. And then before that, you get chemicals. So how did the chemicals self-assemble and come alive? How should I know? Well, OK, <laughs> you're not helping your case, though, by claiming complete I'm not uncertainty. Making a case. I'm not making a case. You are. You well, are so, what, you what do you say? Yeah, what naturalism. Did you say? How did we come into how did you come into but, being then? By designer, clearly. My designer clearly, 
Yeah. So if you have an artificial hip, your penis is too small, your boobs are too small. Artificial hip? Wait, wait, wait. You, your eyes are too wait a minute. Small, your ears are hold it, hold it, hold it. And then you're artificial. saying this was clearly a designer. What kind of a artificial. designer is that? Okay, well, produce, well, a, pr pr produce your own hip. Produce a human being. You I, can't do it. I just it. did. I just did. There's a human being. An artificial hip. Produce, producing okay, an artificial hip. Producing an artificial hip. Hello, 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 Tony. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. You don't have any evidence. You have no argument, but go ahead. If I'm talking and you are talking, we cannot understand anything and nobody can understand something. So I'm go ahead, go. Excited, I know. Go. Just calm down. You're the one shouting. Calm down. Stop. That's very interesting. Fred speaks like um, stop spamming. Um, you know, of maybe, course I am. Um, of course you yeah. are. Can I? Okay. You said, let, let's, let's take your argument, ready? You said an artificial hip, you're going to design that. That would require intelligent agency and an engineer to even produce that artificial hip, number one. See, that requires this is, intelligence. This is what happens when you are talking and not listening. That's not what I said. Okay, I so said how do you... Very clearly, if I... Okay, are you going to shut up or are you going to talk? Go. All right, thank you. How many words <laughs> before you're going to cut in? 15? You have, no, you have no argument anyway, but go ahead. I think Fred's getting a little bit upset. Sorry, I'm Fred. I'm not getting yeah. upset. I'm, I'm, I'm just being frustrated with, with idiots like this. What well, I'm yeah. saying is... Sorry, sorry. Um, if okay, we wait, have... Wait, wait. Uh, you know, you know about I'll, I'll, bring, I'll bring him in, give him one more chance. We can't have, Fred, we can't have this kind of direct insults, uh, you know, as you were saying, a, 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 an idiot. Um, this is clearly an insult. If you cannot stop insulting, may I request not to join our show? I'm sure there are other very bad shows where you can join and have your insults there. <laughs> if you're able to speak in a, in a decent manner like everyone else has been speaking for the last three hours almost, um, you're more than welcome. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I want to hear what Tony we'll replies back to um, uh, Fred here. Tony was okay. saying something. I was, I was starting to say, if I have a designer who designed me, then this designer must be incompetent because of a, an artificial hip, because of bad ears, bad eyes, big, big nose, too small this, too large this. So there are too many things wrong with yeah. my body to say that this okay. was a clever, okay. intelligent Even the, uh, Okay, I, I want to reply to that, Sabor. Even if it was a bad design, it's still designed. Even if it was poorly designed, you have a design. Show me the evidence. Okay, so Fred. Easily. Um, Fred, I'm just going to take Tony, one, one by one. Sabor, please. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, Fred, the thing is, if you're going to say something's bad design, then you have to specify what the design specifications are. Exactly. Why is it bad according to a certain design? So I'll give you an example, right? Can I if you look at from from a biological perspective, I could say, well, when I walk out in my area, Halsden, right, and just three days ago, two days ago, someone was shot dead just like about 200 meters away from here, yeah? I could say, well, why didn't the guy have bulletproof skin? You know, that's bad design. Or in the words of Alex Rosenberg, you know, the zebra, when it's being chased by the lion, yeah, yeah. Why doesn't his forearms uh, stop spamming? Can you just keep quiet for a second, yeah? So what the zebra, uh, Rosenberg says that, why can't uh, the zebra basically say, I'm poorly designed because I should be able to turn my forearms into machine guns and to shoot the actual lion. So the idea of perfection is a very slippery slope and you move away from pure um, biological considerations and now you're starting to talk about theology here. So for you to say something is bad design, you have to admit that you're making theological presuppositions. As long as you admit that and you try and justify them, then we can move on. But if you're going to try and slip those in without justifying them, then I'm going to have to hold you to account. Okay. You're barking up totally the wrong tree. What I'm saying <clears throat> is if I look at my design... I'm you need to speak up I'm a little bit more, Fred. Oh, shit, the stupid microphone. I'm sorry. Um, the, the, the point that I'm making is I'm an animal. I am able to compare myself to other animals so in other words if i look at other animals how they can walk how they can carry how they can look how they can hear how they can do things even if i look amongst my own species there are some who can live for 90 years and some only live for 50. we have cancer we have all sorts of things which are damaging our own bodies if i need an artificial hip at the age of 50 
that is not common in this group, in this species. If I have animals that can hear better, walk faster, have more stamina, can do everything better than a human being, I'm telling, I'm saying so, that that is not a good design. So I no, am Fred, Fred. able to compare things, but no animal has bulletproof skin. But there's a lot of animals that can see better, talk better, do better, do everything okay. better than me. So let's just start with something. Can you hear me right now? Can you hear me? Right? Did you hear the argument that I actually made and did you understand it? You did not make an argument. All, all you said is you said, I cannot repeat what I said. if something is better repeat or worse because you are taking something out of the ordinary that you are saying, I need to go into theology to, uh, to uh, somehow acknowledge this. I do not need to do that. I can look at my species. I can look in, in, in the whole... Um, Fred, Fred know, one step at a time, you seem to have a bit of a hearing problem. Repeat my argument so I understand that you understand what I'm saying. Okay, you said several things. You said I need to go into theology, I need to acknowledge this before I can move. Is that all I said? Is then that you all said, you heard? Then you said I, I, I cannot know what is better or worse and what is good and what is bad. I need to have an objective criteria by which to manage that. And that is nonsense. I, as I just shown, I just showed you it's nonsense. Even, even if it was poorly designed, even if it was poorly designed, it's still a design. Tony, okay. one second. My expectation I, I, I of want, a God I want is Fred, higher than I yours. To... If I, I, this is why I Fred, said if this on. is... Okay, what am I, what am I going to do? Am, am I going to answer or not? I'm waiting for you to regurgitate what I said so I understand that you understood me. Okay, I did. Okay, is a Model T poorly designed? The first car, the Model T, is on, that Tony, poorly designed? Tony, how many people am I talking to? Okay, Tony, let's let uh, Absabul... Um, Speak so, to Tony, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to check the hearing of Fred here. Yeah, Fred, yeah. keep my argument so I understand that you understood it. Okay, I thought I did. He's asking you to repeat what he said. But I did. I just repeated it. Well, he clearly you didn't understand it. No, he doesn't want to understand it. No, look, look. because you did not. Can I can I add the point before? Yeah, Fred, Fred, the point. Fred, one second. What you're doing right now is this. You're trapped and you're trying to get out of this trap. Yeah. And it's like trying to play chess with a schizophrenic pigeon. What you've got to do right now is you've got to make some sense. You're not making any sense right now. I gave you a very sound philosophical argument, which is valid, which is what philosophers, atheist philosophers like Alex Rosenberg speak about, which is the idea of perfection is a slippery slope which needs theological presuppositions. This is also something that Elliot Sober and other philosophers have spoken about. So right now you're trapped and you're trying to wriggle your way out. I'm going to give you the mic for the next couple of minutes and let's see if you make any sense. Okay. Why, why should I care what Rosenberg or anybody else says? Why should I care about their opinions? Give me facts, not philosophy. Give me the facts because what you are doing is you're always talking about philosophy, philosophy, philosophy. I'm talking about the doing. Okay, you want facts? Because I'll give you facts. Tony, Tony, people, Tony, one second. Yeah. You can have 50 philosophers standing around a car and discussing an oil change, but you need one mechanic to actually go and do the oil change. So what you are doing is you're yakking away at, at okay, theoretical this and Rosenberg this and blah, blah, blah. And then you're saying, well, I'm trapped. No, I'm not. You're not addressing my points at all. You're, you're trying to shift this into an area that is superfluous we're talking about creation we're not okay talking can i about oh, can, more. can i answer this by a, an, an, a superhuman supernatural whatever entity and i'm saying if that supernatural entity is this incompetent and you call that design fine Go ahead and do it. I don't have any kind of argument to withdraw that, okay. to refute that. Okay. No. Tony, Sabor, go. That way sorry, Fred. Fred, what you just did there is you made a philosophical point, but in the beginning you said, I don't want to talk about philosophy. philosophy. Go away from yeah. philosophy. Yeah. Your point you, don't is philosophical. It. you don't understand your point is philosophical. Go away from it. Wait, hang on. Fred, your entire argument was philosophical and it was poor. And what I'm trying to do is trying to get you to understand. You can't say I'm not talking about philosophy and make a philosophical point at the same time. You're just embarrassing yourself right now. Okay, can I make a statement? Well, one sec, one, one sec, one sec, Tony. Let, let's let's hear him out. He's in a hole. 
and he's digging and he found another button and he's going to keep digging, yeah? Well, he has no evidence for, for it coming Why about naturally. Why are you doing that? I am saying if you are making the claim that there is a designer and you do not have any evidence for that, why should I believe that? I am telling you, you okay. if I look now. at my body, you the topic I don't now. see any but coherent let, design. Let me put you back into you your hole. This is the hole that you are in. That is so you bad said bad design. Cool. bad design exists. And what I'm asking you is, for you to judge something to be bad design, you need to know a print specification. So I'm going to give you a paradigm for the Quran, from the Quran to relate to. God says in the Quran, whoever he wills, he gives males. Whoever he wills, he gives females. Whoever he wills, he makes barren. Whoever he wills, he makes barren. So from a Quranic perspective, barrenness wouldn't be bad design. It's part of the test of life. What you're doing is you're clutching at straws right now. You're saying there's bad design. But you have zero evidence for that. And you're saying, I'm not making a philosophical argument. You are making a philosophical argument. We're just making a very poor one. So let's go back to you, because I really want to hear you get out of this hole. This is not a philosophical argument if I tell you that my evidence is that if I have a bad hip that needs to be replaced at the age of 50, and every other human can live until the age of 80, then that is bad design. So if you are making a case for a bad designer, be my guest. So I you don't want a hip that lasts forever. You are doing. You are asking me, <laughs> Tony, am I created? Tony, one second. Tony, one second. Tony, one second. Yeah. You're, you're really great at philosophy here because what you're trying to do is you're trying to say it's got nothing to do with philosophy. I've got my own thing. I don't care about Rosenberg. I don't care about Elias Sober. I don't care about these guys. Well, let's go to nature right now. Let's go to all these philosophy journals, Phil, philpapers.com. What have you published? Have you come up with anything sound? Have you come up with anything rigorous? You just turn up on a on a Saturday afternoon on a YouTube page with a stupid picture and you try and make some points and get refuted, right? What I want you to understand is you're looking really silly right now. And you're not only challenging us, you're challenging mainstream academics, you're challenging atheists, the very people that you're supposed to be aligning yourself with. Aligning yourself with. So what I want you to do is this. You've just been judged and you've been... And, and I want you to actually address this particular point. Your entire argument is philosophical and it's poor. And what I want you to do is to justify it. So, boy, I've just refuted you. I've just published a couple of videos. What are you talking about? I haven't refuted anybody. You made a poor argument. argument. What, Fred? Fred. Okay, okay can I ask a question, Fred? Some more. But the thing, what I am saying is not a philosophical argument. What I am saying is not a philosophical argument. So, if you're saying, if you're saying you refuted me, if you, wait one second, if you're saying you refuted me, which one of my premises did you refute? None. Uh, 40, well, I think it was 43 minutes or something. Do, do you want me to now read the whole uh, video, watch the whole video or what? Go and watch the video. Then you can see it. Go. Yeah, and okay. Fred, you Go want and facts? Watch the video and then okay. come back to me. Fred, um, but Fred, what you, Fred, 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 what you got to do is this. One, one second. Let's stick Fred, to the point Fred, what you got to do is this. So I'm going to give you the mic creation. right now. I'm going to give you the mic. I'm going to give you the mic. So what I want you to do is to tell me, if you've debunked me using without without philosophy, tell me which one of my premises did you challenge? I am talking about creation. I'm not talking about my video. You said, what have you published? What have you done? And I've just told you that. You so are you, you publish. I'm making claims. He's, he's mad at God because he didn't. You don't. Right. Now, let's Fred, what you're creation. doing right now is you you're embarrassing yourself created. right this now. This is what you asked. You've just joined a live okay. stream. Sabor. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't have a single clue about my argument. And instead, what you're doing is you're trying to attack me and you're throwing atheist academics under the bus and you're just looking like a Muppet. And what you've yeah, got to so realize is right now this is being recorded and you're looking very silly right now. You've got yes. your little well, YouTube you, page you and you're trying to make a video. But right not... now you're looking extremely vulnerable. And I want to give you the mic to you and I want to hear you talk more because the more you're talking, the more you're slipping up. Okay, uh, Fred. The, what I have done is I've taken your videos, I've looked at your arguments, I found that you don't have arguments. What you are doing is all you are doing is wait, wait, hang on. How, how can you, you say I don't have an right argument now, at the same time you say you choose my argument? You just contradicted yourself. You just contradicted yourself. You said I don't have an argument, and I refuted your argument. Which one is it? I have taken <laughs> what you have submitted as what you think is an argument which actually is only quoting other people. 
you don't have an argument yourself. All you're doing is you're quoting Thank other you. people. Thank I have shown Thank two you. things Thank that you. the people who you have quoted Guess are what? not saying what you are saying. Guess what? What, the, Guess what? They, what Guess you what? said they are Guess saying what? is Guess not what? what you said. What you just did right talk. now, Fred, is this. You said, I don't have talk, an argument. I regurgitate the argument of other people. That's oh, true. God. I do regurgitate the arguments of other people. Then you said, I misrepresented them. Previously, you said they don't matter. So which one is it? Is it I misrepresented them or is it that they don't matter? You've contradicted yourself yet again. No, I have not. You <laughs> saying things I am silly. You saying I am contradicting does Fred, not make it so. Yeah. Very what I right now. Say, every time I say Fred, something, you are they irrelevant? Me. Are they irrelevant or have I misrepresented them? Which one is it? Both. <laughs> uh, is your brain intelligently designed, what, what Fred? What are doing, Subur, is just Fred, quoting Fred, other people you don't understand right now. what you're talking again. Yeah, okay, Fred, Subur. Right talk for 30 Let seconds. Let me ask you a question. No, if I misrepresented Alex Rosenberg, one second. If I misrepresented Alex Rosenberg, please tell me his argument. What you are doing is you are quoting other no, people. No, no, answer this question. When I if I misrepresent are... Alex Rosenberg, what's his argument? Please answer the question. What you are doing is you're taking people and you're just misquoting them. And then Go when ahead. I look at what they are saying, I realize you don't even understand what they are saying. So, so I think it's quite fair. Uh, I'm sorry to cut you off. Is it the this, case? Yes. I do not want so to I'm gonna, talk about I'm going to question you with one simple question right now. Which part of Alex Rosen book or which book did I quote that argument from that you're saying I misrepresented? Yeah, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He's just a, he's just a hard and eighth. <laughs> I am muted. I'm constantly being muted. As soon as I try and say something, um, Fred, or stop stopping. You were only you muted once. Me. And if you think once muting you once is constantly muted, then actually it tells a it's lot in once. volumes. It's not I want him to answer my question. Fred, you can part, watch in the video which later book, on how many times which I've been book muted. Did I miss okay. quote? So which book? Look, you, you don't have a point here. You, you, you don't have anything I'm asking here. you, if you said I misrepresented Alex Rosenberg, which book did I argue? Did I take the argument and misrepresent it? Please tell me that. I said that every time I go and look at anything that you go ahead, which from book any did you look at? People, I have found that you which don't book did understand you look up? what they are saying. Which book did you, you look don't up? understand what you are saying. Oh, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Understanding it. Let me ask you something. I am happy to admit I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, talking, which talking, book talking, did talking, I misrepresent? Why, why are you talking all the time? Why are which you book? talking? Because I'm asking you. Can I? Can I just interject both of you? Yeah, I think I it's a fair I question. Um, Fred, Fred, one moment, please. I think it's a fair question Sabur has asked. If you think, in your opinion, that Sabur has misrepresented someone's arguments, it is only fair to say what the argument that he's misrepresenting. This is what Sabur is asking. I think everyone who's watching is all trying to understand that point. So would you be fair to kindly just tell us what is the argument Sabur is misrepresenting from those two individuals? Watch my videos. It's there. No, I'm not it's not about watching about your videos. Today. I'm talking about creation. I'm talking about where we created. Um, um, and I don't care what somebody else said. I don't okay, care so... what somebody else's opinion. I am giving you my opinion. And if you and have your a opinion doesn't count because you haven't published any papers, you haven't done any research, creation, and you have I'm no idea what you're talking about. Again. I asked you a simple question. You didn't answer it. So I'm going to ask you again. I'm not answering. Like Mansoor said. Which book am I misrepresenting? If I'm misrepresenting any, we are talking about creation. And the thing <laughs> is that I have evidence. What evidence do you have of materialism? I am not created by a supernatural being because if it were a supernatural being, my expectation was that I would be created. Wait, wait let, let, let me ask Fred a question here. For you, you're not happy with living uh, at the age of 50 getting a hip replacement. At uh, what age should you have got a hip replacement for you to believe that you're created by a supernatural being? Yeah, 300 if years. Created, <laughs> if I were created properly, never. Never. <laughs> never. Okay, okay, wait one second. And would you live forever? Would you no, live no, forever? Until I, sorry, never until I die. I'm, I'm taking... Never until you die. End. Fred. Yeah, so how long, Fred? What forever? This is what are you specified. talking about? Why? Okay. You see, what, this is the what problem. If, if, 
All right, can I, what for, I some more? What I'm talking about is that I have a limited lifespan. If I look at other creations in my species, in the animal world, anything that I see around me that lives, then I can compare this. So, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'll leave it to you. What? Okay, Fred, can, Sabor, can I say something? Okay. Number one, you want facts, right, Fred? Do you, know, do you know that life only comes from life? We have never seen life coming from non-life. Number one, that's a fact. Well, that's a fact. Seen, we've never seen a black swan until we did. So? Wait, you, wait, wait. You're oh, believing this. Okay, hang on a second, Fred. Hang wait, on, oh, but, Fred. Fred, so you, you just see? fell into a really yeah, big hole right now. You just fell into a really big hole right now. Tony made a really good point. And you said, well, well, potentially in the uh, we can get we can see a black duck in the future. So you're basically proving your entire system is a faith based system is not based on evidence, according to your own words. Yeah, exactly. No. And do you do you believe Speaking, a that does not make it a fact. No. OK, Fred, do you believe? OK, was a Model T? Did a Model T have a designer? Model T had a designer. Yes. Yes. Yeah, now, that, that's a poor car compared to today's standards. Correct. Correct. Okay, could a car ever produce itself without an engineer and a mechanic? No, it couldn't. Okay, so when you look at the DNA molecule, you have information there. If I gave you all the chemical, hold it, let me finish. If I gave you all the chemicals needed in pure form to produce DNA and you put it in a test tube, a nice clean test tube in a protected laboratory environment, it would never self-assemble into DNA, ever. And so what? Well, so how do you get information? You want to ignore everything we say and then you have no argument yourself. I'm not ignoring what you are saying. I'm saying okay, it's what we're saying what is you're saying. it's irrelevant what you are saying. It's not no, 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 because you have to, you have design and information there. You're mad there at God because you don't there. live. Okay, no, yes, there is. Evidence that it's design. Show me the evidence. You need sequenced information to produce DNA molecules. It's not no, just chemicals. Not. No, yes, you do. You do no. They have never produced DNA. You're ignorant. Who cares that we have never produced ignorance? Because that's have had what? For the last 1,400 years to show you're, how technically advanced they are, they have never managed. I'm trying. That is the you're, only you're, you're, you're mad at God because you can't live till a thousand. For, for 300 years, we have started looking at nature, and now you expect in 300 years to catch up everything there is. They're not making any progress. You, you're ignorant. You know how ignorant you sound right now? You know nothing about chemistry. Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> because you're saying these things. And just because you're saying it, wait a minute. Are you an authority? Are you a PhD? Are you a PhD chemist? Are you a PhD chemist? No. You're an internet how atheist you know clown. How huh? do you know um, can we just because I've studied it, it and I'm a pharmaceutical chemist. Evidence. I okay. just showed you that life only comes from life. Do you have any? Do you have life coming from non-life? Do you have life coming from non-life? So yes. You have a big mouth, just like so do you. Just talking, but you're not giving me evidence. Okay, so give me evidence that life can arise from non-life. Go. I didn't say it can. <laughs> I'm not making this claim. What? Uh, Fred, do you understand just, what happened to you right now? I do not make this claim. I told you this in the beginning. I so you have no argument for, for your side. Zero. You just don't like ours. Have side. I have reality. This is not a side. Reality. And, and in reality, all we see is life coming from life. That's a fact. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, that's a fact. Yeah, it's called the law of biogenesis. It's you know what the law of biogenesis is, dummy? Uh, excuse me. I'm no, no, no. Um, Tony, with all due respect, okay, please, go ahead. Can we leave Adhanmians aside? I mean, not in this yeah. discussion. Okay, but see, uh, we're uh, being attacked, and we he wants facts. I give him no, no, facts. No, no, still, he doesn't, doesn't listen. Matter. Doesn't matter if he attacks, uh, you know, our ideological positions or theological. Okay. Positions. Okay. We need to still have a very deep conversation. Continue. I am saying I am not created. There is no reason to believe that I am created without a shred of evidence. And you don't... all you are doing is saying, yeah, but this guy says this, this guy says this. You don't have that. You don't have that. Um, I am not making Fred, I just want to make one last I point. I want to make one last point. Because you, you sound like a broken record and you're not talking. Yeah, total. You are the one okay, who look, needs to bring the uh, evidence. I'm going to make one last point here. There are people you who spend their lives yet. thinking about these topics. There are people who spend their entire careers thinking about these topics. They write books. They publish papers. They so have what? philosophical arguments. So and what? what you're doing is you're reducing all of that work, all of the academic discussion, down to a few poorly worded, incoherent sound bites, which you're going to try and make, which you're going to try and make a meal from. Right. The reality is. Everything you're saying right now 
Give me one philosophical paper, one philosopher who's willing to acknowledge your position and that crude reality which you're trying to point at. One. Give me one. How can I do that? Because they don't exist. Give me one designer. <laughs> Give me one God. Give me one creator. Listen, what you're doing right now is this. You're in a hole, you're digging, and you're no, digging, and you're getting further, and you're finding bodies, and you're carrying on digging. And what you've got to realize is right now you don't have a single argument, and you're just coming across in this live stream as someone who is just trying to win using pure sophistry. And it's not going to work. It didn't work with Tony, it didn't work with me, it's not going to work with anyone else watching. And all of these attacks that you're making, you misrepresented this person, you did this, you did that. I'm going to give you the mic for the next one minute. And I'm going to ask you, promise. I'm going to ask you one simple question, which Fred asked you, give us a shred of evidence. You can get life from non-life. I'm Fred. Oh, Tony. Asked you. Tony, Tony. This is, you, you get yeah. so emotional about these things. Come on. Can you speak there up is... a little bit more, Fred? Oh, sorry. Uh, this is this microphone. Um, there is no evidence for non-life creating life. We don't know this yet. I did not make this claim. I said very clearly in the beginning, we cannot make any kind of statement regarding the origin of life. We have three things where we don't know anything. We don't know the origin of the universe. We don't know the origin of life. We don't know the origin of conscience. And those oh, are the three I areas where, you, come on, you told me that I can have 60 seconds. Now you're talking on, over me on, again. Go on so there are three areas, origin of universe, origin of life, origin of consciousness, which we do not have the answers to. And this is where you point the God of the gaps. And that is all you have. And then you go into philosophy and say, yeah, but there are philosophers who are saying this and this and this, and it doesn't make sense. Now, the last thing that I want to say, because I know that I, no, I am an animal, yes. 10 seconds, what I'm looking forward to is your refutation of my video, let's see you do it, because there I have the evidence. But you're asking me now from the top of my head to go and refute the philosophers that you don't even understand, which I've done in the video where I've had time. Bye-bye, go, go for it. Yeah, you, you have high hopes for, okay, for all so your beliefs. I'm gonna show you, the more you talk, the more you're slipping up. So right now you just said you have no evidence that you can get life from non-life. And no, at the same, Fred, I didn't, I didn't interrupt you. I did not make that claim, but why are you telling me Fred, something me... that I did not claim? Fred, I didn't interrupt you. Just give me a second. Okay. What you said is basically this. You said you didn't make the claim that life comes from non-life. You didn't make that claim, correct? Correct. And you said we don't know, correct? Correct. Didn't you yes. earlier on say that I know I didn't come from a creator? No, I, I didn't say that. I said we cannot know whether somebody came from a creator. I know that <laughs> no, you I was contradicted not yourself. By a yep. supernatural okay, Tony, being. didn't you say that a second ago? I did not come I from a creator. Said, yes, I he did. He is certain. And he contradicted himself again. Well yeah. done. Said, Good job. Well done, Sabor. I said well done. I do I know that I did not I was not created by a supernatural. You know what? Creator. This is, this what is really poor marketing. Yeah, this is this is an internet atheist right here. This is the internet atheist. My YouTube page and refute my argument, but I don't know what I'm talking about right now. But you see, your click funnel, which is this YouTube uh, uh, live stream right now, it's not going to make me go to your YouTube page because right now you're not making any sense. Okay. I can't yeah. force you to do this. I'm, I'm just telling you I refuted you thoroughly. You didn't refute if anything. You if you can't okay. handle this, okay. You didn't. So, as it right. seems, all of you are just repeating the same thing. Full Metal yep. Theist, do you want to add something on this? Elion, you want to say something? Do we have FMT with us? Yeah, go ahead. Um, well, I just wanted to say that it was painful to hear to this because, Fred, in all honesty with you, you were very self-contradicting. You kept claiming to have evidence. When we got into it, you would say, I don't know. Um, you saying philosophy is bad and all that, and you don't realize that you're making philosophy in this very moment. When you talk about theology, when you talk about cosmology, all this is philosophy. Even how you get to know stuff is philosophy. You just don't know it. And it says a lot. When you speak about saying that we don't know how the universe came into being and all that, I can accept all that jargon and all stuff, but I can tell you that we have compelling reasons to sort out some 
theories and accept some others. And a creator of the universe is a most valid position to accept instead of no creation or eternal universe. There is no such thing as eternal universe. An infinite past is not even possible. You don't get to speak with us if the universe existed eternally in the past because you would have to traverse an infinite amount of moments and before now that there would always be a yesterday 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 and this you right now contradicting yourself would not be possible if the universe was eternal in the past so i was not very so, how so, can i say impressed I'm, by what I'm, you I'm said just gonna, i'm just going to summarize what full metal fear said he said you would not have the luxury to contradict yourself if you did believe what you said because then you'd have an infinite regress of events yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> and, and if I have 10 seconds no. to, to, to finish no. this, uh, if I have 10 seconds to finish this, we started talking about a designer, and then you came out with a terrible argument, which Sabor pointed out. Uh, I'm using a smartphone right now, and the fact that I have to change it in a couple of years, it doesn't mean that it's not designed. Okay? So right. the imperfection in a design does not disprove the design no, itself. This is, this so if you, you say bad designer... Argument. You don't understand anything that I'm saying. I, I told you very listen, clearly. Listen, listen. If, 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 if you, I, I can accept ex you by calling. Let me finish, please. Let me finish. If you accept a bad designer, as you called it, let me tell you that there is something called a relativist perspective. Not everything is bound by your knowledge. Like if you don't know the meaning of a certain design, for you to call to call it bad, then I can tell you that maybe someone else has. A little bit more of data in regards to that design and from that perspective he can call it a good design but if you start and accept a bad designer i will tell you okay welcome you're starting to accept the designer and that's fine with me and maybe we can talk about the relativistic perspective and blah 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 okay if you can accept a bad designer i'm fine with that too uh he didn't say that I i'm but sorry i, did, I said that <laughs> He didn't I say that. What he said that, I said that. The, what he said is not that he accepts there's a bad designer. That's you're misunderstanding him again. No, what he's saying is, is that I'm Fred. Design Fred is just from said a this. Not, perspective. Not he, I did. So, what, you're happy with a bad designer? No, I said to FMT, if he's happy with a bad designer, then it's okay. Yeah, but he never said he's happy with a bad designer. You didn't understand his I argument. I didn't say it's that argument. he said this. You need to listen, Subur. You see, this is the problem. You're not listening. You're talking all the time. You're not listening. What I said is if there's a designer who is not able to design me properly, then this is a bad designer. And this is my expectation of a designer is of a much higher level than yours or FMT's. And if FMT says that there's a designer that I am happy with who's a bad designer, well, then if he's happy with the bad designer, so be it. I'm, I wouldn't yeah, but, be. Yeah. I would again, be, oh, I would be, again, I again you put it, what level. you're doing is you, what you're doing is you're putting words in his mouth. I'm just going to ask him directly. FMT, did you say you're happy with a bad designer? That's not what I'm saying. That's exactly. not what I've said. Fred, I said. Let, let me ask you a simple this. question because, listen, I, I so really... Boy, you need to listen. On. I said that I, I said that. Fred, not Fred let me ask you a quick question. Let me this. ask you a quick question. Fred, well, do you agree with me if I told you that some people see a glass of water as half empty and some <laughs> others as half full would you agree yes, with, i know this, would you yeah, agree with yeah. me yeah okay so when you say when you say a bad designer what i'm telling you is that you in accordance with the data and knowledge you have you may think it's bad but some other people may think it's good that's right do you agree with I, me no i don't agree with you of course not because well, he has to disagree you you give yourself again because there's a, oh, yes there, there's a way objectively that you know how you're being having a function so work listen, listen don't, don't talk all the time if people talk <laughs> just listen if if i go and i compare two people one with a broken hip and one with a functioning hip who is going to be better off is it the person with a broken hip or the one with the functioning hip It'd be the one with the functioning hip. I asked but fmt I not you so boy, you're, you're in listening mode now i'm talking to fmt uh, no, it's a free, it's a free so, Don't you understand what I'm saying? You're in listening what? mode. I'm talking to FMT. Not really. Not really. Because yes, really. This was FMT. This is what you, you're out of this at the moment. You and can... you're committing the fallacy 
of basically linking a point which is completely irrelevant, which somehow looks like it's relevant. It's a non sequitur. So you're saying a person with a broken hip is in a worse position than a person with a functioning hip. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about right now. Okay, that is my argument. And it doesn't make any sense. Okay, can I, like can I make a point quickly? No hip, then I can't help okay, you. let's give Hashim uh, some time to make some points. Okay, uh, Fred, I think you started off on the right track to ask about the crater and whether where we came from and so on, which is actually the topic of, of the conversation. And then you shifted to a bad designer. The first thing is you need to identify where did these raw materials come from, the atoms and molecules you talk about. You mentioned that uh, is a person who builds uh, with Lego bricks a crater, yes, but he still gets the Lego bricks from somewhere. Exactly. Yes, that's what, that's so what I said. Yeah. The question is when we go to the, the very beginning, yes, when we go to how the universe came into existence, your question, sorry, your answer has always been, I don't know. Am I right? No, not for everything. I do you know where the universe came unknowns. from? I where did the universe come from? Three areas that we do not have sufficient information yet. That's what I said. No, wait, wait. I'm honest, can it Fred, come? That's it. Okay, can it come from nothing, Fred? Can I the universe come why from are nothing? Why are you asking me questions when I just said we do not know yet? Why are you now? No, asking even me in questions? future or even now, can the universe, logically speaking, ever come from nothing? I just explained it. Yes. So, do you know? Does nothing even exist? The thing is, you can now have a philosophical discussion about the value no, of nothing. You don't know, you know, you know, have a philosophical discussion. Nothing even exists, or is it just a concept? I don't want to do. Yeah, you want to avoid this topic. This is the topic of the conversation. This no, whole question is, is about creation. From? Not about the, the, a bad creation or a good creation, but whether we came from something or nothing, about creation itself. And you're right. saying it's possible that we could have come from nothing. But nothing logically doesn't even exist. It's just an abstract. It's, it's a concept. Now we're talking. Yes, you yes. got it. Exactly. Teach that to Sudwa, please. No, I'm teaching you, my friend. Okay. Because if something doesn't right. even exist, how can it bring how can it how can it bring something of material into existence? Okay. Have you heard of the it's physicist? Like a big magic you... trick you're talking about. You know, like have, somebody have, just says comes from magic. Have you heard of the physicist Gottfried Gott? Second, was he crit got? I can't remember. There's a physicist by the name of God, and, and he has solved exactly this problem. What, how did he solve it with the time loop? I just explained it. A time loop. So, yeah. just one more. I mean, all of That's... you, just one second. Let's understand this argument in a yeah. time loop. What happens? What happens is that. You need to speak up a little bit. I, I'm having difficulty. Yes, I, don't know, I don't know how to climb inside this stupid <laughs> microphone. Um, I, don't, I don't even know how to make it louder. I'm sure there is a way, but I don't know yeah, how to moment. Just come a bit closer to it. Okay. So what, what he is saying is if in the beginning there was a time loop, what mm -hmm. can happen is that something that did not exist, in other words, the total void, looped in time and then came in came out as the universe. Okay, just stop there for a second. Something like that didn't exist means it was non-existent. So non-existence comes into existence. Correct. How do you explain that? Yeah. Well, he doesn't explain it. He says it's a theoretical possibility. No. How is it a possibility? <laughs> if something is non-existent, this is exactly the point. No, no. How is this even a valid argument to even to consider? It's if not a valid argument to consider. It's an option. Yeah. Let me take that option. What? I would say how this option what? is not even even. It's invalid to begin with. If something is non-existence to begin with, non-existent, it has nothing. It has no power. It has no energy, no quantum, no gravity, no fluctuation, no hadron, lepton, whatever. It has nothing. It has, it has a word. Sorry? It has a word. No, no. It, a word? It has nothing, nothing is something. No, no. It has nothing. It's a non-existence. So nothing this has non something. It has a nothing. The word nothing is already something. No, it's not. <laughs> now you're becoming philosophical. Right. There's nothing right. there. In the in this example that you were sharing from this particular individual, non-existence looped into existence. So this non-existence was it non-existent or was it in existence? I don't know. 
I'm not a theoretical physicist. I just heard him in a lecture proposing this as a as a viable model. And he, he brought a model along with him. He explained it. Sure. And that's all that's I fine. know. So that's this is just friend. one option that I'm Does saying you can evidence? get something from out of that's this. Fine, yes. But so Does far from what we've understood, understood from you, Press, what we've that... understood from you, this model doesn't make even little sense because the way you've expressed it, maybe it's not the way he expressed it, but in your expression, it makes zero sense. Why? That is possible. Non-existence is non-existence. It cannot come into existence. Just like Professor Lawrence Krauss used to sell the idea that the universe can come from nothing. And then it turned out to be actually, he's defending saying, my nothing is something. So it isn't non-existent to begin with. It wasn't nothing to begin with. There was always something. So we come no, to you don't, what you don't understand is there are different things which are being called nothing. So the, the, the total emptiness, the void of any kind of matter of atoms, we still if you if you look have you heard of quantum field theory? Yes. Okay. Have you? So you can yeah. Have you? You don't know. Okay, what is quantum field theory? Okay, before we go into that, in uh, quantum see, field, this is a super, uh, I've okay, heard you do Fred, this several Fred, times. Do you I'm, know? I'm, you I'm, say, okay, you I'm explaining yes, you quantum field theory to you, but you don't know anything about this. I'm explaining to you. you. Into quantum in quantum field, field theory, theory. I, I'm, I thought I was explaining. In quantum field theory, there is no such thing as non-existence which comes into existence. Am I right? This, this is something like a car cannot go to Mars. What, what uh, excuse me. About? You said you know about quantum field theory. So let me tell you what it is. In quantum field theory, there is no such concepts as non-existence comes into existence. Am I correct? No. Okay, explain. Uh -huh, you see, now, now you're still starting to get there. In quantum on, field explain. theory, what, what you see is that there is a quantum foam which is never at a zero level and we can represent the universe in indentations of the different levels. So you have different fields which can be close to zero, but the, for example, the Higgs field can never be at zero. It's always going to be at a 2.6 or something around electron volt. Is that then existent you have the or non-existent? Determinism concept. Then you have the uncertainty principle, which further says that you will never have absolutely nothing if there is something. But this is so, the physical one. So you have a physical nothing, you have a philosophical nothing, and you have a layman's nothing. So you sure. first need to determine which of the nothings are you addressing. Sure. In the quantum field theory, Fred, is there something which is called non-existence coming no. into existence? No. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. So Thank within you. that concept, there is no thing like... Can, yeah, but can a car go to Mars? No, it's not designed to do that. It's a totally excuse me. I, I, you're just trying. Oh. You're trying to get yeah, away. I heard the word design. Knowing, 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 what, knowing what that you are of, in a, in a trap. Kind of I would so like to know Fred's definition of mental so gymnastics. Oh, mental you're gymnastics to avoid God. That's what he's using. Mental gymnastics. He has nothing. Okay. Let me ask a Fred word. a simple question, which all of us are trying to understand. Do you consider existence can come from non-existence? I don't know. I've never okay. seen it. I mean, which, how which is what I said. You do, questions you just, which do not make sense. And as soon as I ask you questions which make sense, then you say you don't know. No, no. What I'm and saying is fine. Me, I don't know. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm telling you, where is the evidence for this creator? And you're saying, I don't know. What we have no, we demonstrated never, so far, what we have demonstrated so far is this. You consider or rather, your opinion is, your position is, you don't know, right? You're appealing to ignorance. When every individual, when they understand what is existence, as opposed to what is non-existence, will agree with us that non-existence cannot bring about existence. If you think it's possible, then you should have a mechanism. You should have a theory. You should have a model that, yes, this is the theory and the model and the mechanism in which non-existence can give rise to existence. Do you have anything to offer? No. Right. So then how can you then say it's even possible? Exactly. I didn't say that it's possible. I'm you not did. making those claims you. again. You, you said it's an open. into something that I never said. You, are you so said, I asked you this specific question and you why said, you yes, stick to the we don't know yet. I am saying that's fine. That's fine, to Fred. I'm not saying. No problem. No problem. Um, we're going to wrap up this show soon, as you realize, before we, um, before you came in. Um, it's now more than like 40 minutes um, in this uh, discussion. Um, you're more than welcome again, Fred. I will stop. No, I'm not, I'm not sure what you're doing. 
Sorry? I'm being, I'm being censored. All my accounts are blocked, which I had to use this one to get on the show because all my other accounts are blocked. I, I, I can't because speak for you. Know, very what are you saying? Fred, this is why Fred, we, we can sum up your argument, Fred. You don't know what did it, but you're certain it wasn't God. Fred, if we wanted to ban you, we could have banned you 40 minutes ago. So don't come up with that silly argument. Yeah. I was blocked. You you I, it and you I was muted. What and you, you can come back again and you'll be served again. No worries. Wow, you were brilliant. muted because you were speaking at the same time. Like, you know, Tony was muted when he was speaking at the same time. And don't take offense on that because we have to make sure people are heard. That's why the whole idea of muting comes in, not because to mute your voice and not to get yourself expressed. No, I think no, we have just, given enough I'm chance to everybody the to express themselves. You should refer, I know you refer to it, but nothing matters at the end of the day anyway. No, right. today, today was fine. It's just that normally I'm censored and this is what I object to. Okay. So as I was saying, Fred, you're more than welcome to join in another another show where we can discuss this further. But I would appreciate if you join a show where you do care about the things that we discuss rather than you don't care. Would that be I, a... I do care about it. It's just that when I make an argument, then, then it gets sidetracked. This is the funny thing. Okay. Let, let, let's hope that in the future discussion, you do care. Um, thanks for Brilliant. joining our show. Th thanks for joining our show. And thanks it's a for having me and keeping me on for so long. I really do appreciate it. This is honest now. This is really no. honest. Um, this is the longest I've been allowed on a Muslim show, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. And you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. you're going to get anyway, so yes, no worry. Okay. Thank you. Um, 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 thanks to Fred. Bye. I, that I was, think yeah, it's yeah. the principle of any PR is good PR. Okay. It doesn't mind being smashed um, <laughs> on a show. As long yeah, as it's boring, really. Yeah, um, I'm going to wrap up this show. So um, since Tony has been here at FMT as well, so let's take your last thoughts uh, on the discussion so far, and we will wrap up. Tony. Yeah, that was a terrible argument. Sabor, he, he didn't refute you at all. Uh, basically, he didn't like our argument. He presented zero evidence for what he believed for the origin of life and the origin of the universe, other than we haven't figured it out yet. Which is science so, of the gaps, which is still... Naturalism, yeah. It is. So, uh, Tony, uh, if you could put your email address in the private chat, maybe I can bring you on my channel. We can discuss origin of life. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Do you want to do it tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, would be difficult, but tomorrow would be difficult, but next couple of days, sure, we could set it up. All right. I'll send you my email. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's do a video. Thank you. And you're more than welcome to All join right, us again. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Um, full Metal Theist. Oh, guys, that was a roller coaster. Because I was not very much impressed. And he said he had a solution to it. And then, and then he said he didn't understand it like he didn't know. I mean, why do you appeal to a certain physicist, physicist proposing a certain solution if you don't even understand what you're talking about? Uh, this is one... Um, a very quick comment. Uh, he once mentioned uh, God of the Cross. I would like to add that that as a theist, most of the times we're very much strawman of this one. Uh, we don't start from that which we don't know and say God did it. On the other hand, we start from that which we do know and say that God did it. Okay? So we're not doing God of the gaps. They are doing very much size of the gap. So anyway, guys, thank you for having me. Um, it was a pleasure being here with you. Thank you for joining us. Okay, assalamu alaikum, brother. Now, um, brother Abdul Razak, Muhammad Abdul Razak, I'm sorry um, I haven't had the chance to bring you back when the discussion is going between Sabur and others. I thought I would let the discussion proceed. Um, yeah. Any last thoughts and comments, not necessarily on the last discussion, but the overall whole show um, that we had? Well, overall, you know, we've had a lot of um, different ideas. We saw that the Christians didn't really agree on the concept of god um you know they were uh, you know they claim to understand this from the bible but clearly this is not um this is not evidence from what we've seen uh, as they all reference the same text but we'll understand it very differently this is not an issue that muslims have in terms of uh, you know who god is why he created us what our purpose is um so you know i think that's telling in a way um Obviously, with the last caller, uh, to be honest, sometimes uh, silence is better. And yeah, I mean, I think people should think about what we said today and uh, reflect upon, what, you know, why they believe what they believe, why they reject the Muslim position. 
uh, you know, how, what their relationship with God is, why, you know, if they believe in tritheism tri or the Trinity or, you know, uh, as Vincent believed in two gods, asked themselves, why do we believe in two gods when the scriptures explicitly say one? And of course, we've all, uh, we've explored the, uh, the problems that come with many gods, as Hashem um, put, uh, put forward. And uh, Sabor, as always, you know, may, helping us understand that naturalism is not the, the answer. And, you know, there's many problems. But, uh, yeah, I think there's a lot, of, lot for the people to think about, inshallah. Yes, Jazakallah uh, khairan, everyone. I think this probably is the longest show I've uh, attended at Sidawa. <laughs> Nearly four hours. So, um, yes, I mean, good uh, topics covered today. Um, alhamdulillah, from uh, both from the Christians and the atheists at the end as well. So it's, um, I think it's 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 for us to think like, um, why do people believe, and why do they not believe? And we can know by only asking them by uh, by by asking them certain questions, which will lead them to think rather than attack them. I think this is something that we have alhamdulillah demonstrated uh, in the show. So we shouldn't mock people or shouldn't just say, oh, you guys are silly using that argument or something. So show them in a logical way, um, uh, I don't know, or any other way which makes sense to them. Like for example, the Christians, when they were saying to one God, two God and three God, and then these are all one, we showed them from their own scriptures. Same way with the atheists, we can show them through logic, through understanding and even through science, that no scientist has ever said that something comes into existence from nothing, yes? Mm -hmm. Either they have changed the meaning of nothing or they have somehow um, uh, misconstrued what nothing means. So maybe we should take them back to basics and ask them question accordingly. Uh, in the Quran, Allah says they cannot even create a fly. So those people who, who call uh, besides Allah, they cannot even create a fly, even if they all came together and put their efforts into this for this very purpose. And then the same ayah says that they, they, uh, they cannot even get back what the fly has stolen from them. Yes, and this is something which is very clear that no atheist today will say that, yes, we have created the fly. Whether you want to call that even, let's say even a fly, which is not perfect, according to Fred's um, definition of perfection. Yes, so try to create even a fly by itself and make sure you get the raw materials by yourself rather than using it from nature, which God has already created. And you will never be able to succeed. That's what Allah says in chapter 22, verse number 73 in the Quran in Surah Al Hajj. Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Barakallah, very good. Um, sabur, sabur, sabur. Um, before, you, before you give your final thoughts, um, do you mind waving your hands to Brother Atif Mughal's son? He's a fan of yours. MashaAllah. Go ahead, Brother Sabur, last thoughts. So, you know, <laughs> I went off to go pray. And uh, before that, I was just listening to Hashim and, uh, you know, digging into the sort of Trinitarian theology. And uh, I went off to pray and as they say, Shaitan comes to distract. So when I came back, I was like, yeah, these guys are still going to be talking about Christianity. Uh, and to my surprise, it was actually a full on debate about atheism. Um, and, you know, this guy, he's somebody who's been literally following us for years. I mean, last week I'm at Speaker's Corner after... You know, a long time because of coronavirus and then he made a video just analyzing the talks right and and you know coming up with this type of stuff but it just goes to show you the stubbornness that people come with um they'll come with contradictions they'll come with ideas they'll make statements like i'm not making philosophical points and they'll throw academics under the bus and at the same time they'll say they and so you know people like this these are what we call mesotheists yeah, me so see it. People who have a sort of hatred for faith. Because I'll be absolutely frank with you guys. People who truly want guidance, Allah gives guidance to. Whoever wants guidance, Allah gives guidance to. But when someone is absolutely adamant that no matter what you throw at me, even if I don't understand it, I'm going to reject it, then you're just shutting down the doors to Allah's mercy, essentially. Yeah. So we have to, as Muslims, we have to understand there's a psychology behind this atheism. This linguistic gymnastics is not the reason why he's he's a, he's a somebody who doesn't believe in God. The reason is he doesn't want to believe in God. Because Allah says in the Quran, the truth is from your Lord. Whoever wants to believe, let them believe. Whoever wants to disbelieve, let them disbelieve. 
And this shows you the psychology of atheism. So anyway, those are my thoughts I wanted to give. I really enjoyed the show. And uh, mashallah, I think we've had we've hit record. We're going on to four hours now. Jazakallah khairan. I'm not going to um, prolong this show any further. I just want to thank everyone. So Jazakallah khairan for everyone for joining in and commenting and watching and those who will be um, watching later. So if you have really, if you've enjoyed this show, support us Sidawa and join us next time and next Saturday, inshallah. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.